हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज रुंजय पटेल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट लाइक हाउ वी कैन कॉल अ स्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड फ्रॉम सर्वर साइड मे बी वी वांट टू कॉल अ स्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड फ्रॉम बिजनेस रूल और मे बी फ्रॉम यू आई एक्सन एंड मे बी फ्रॉम अनदर स्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड हाउ वी कैन मेक अ कॉल राइट दैट वी विल सी विद द लाइव प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल But before that, if you have not watched my previous video, then I would request you to go and watch that first because in my first uh, previous video, I have explained uh, like how we can create a script include, right? What's the purpose of creating a script include? What is script include, right? These all details I have already talked about. Uh, how we can uh, make a synchronous call, a synchronous call. These all details. Uh, i have already given you uh, at the high level but in upcoming video also i'll be talking about uh, those details uh, those functionality in details right so let's uh, start but before that guys uh, it's my humble request if you have not like and subscribe my channel please do so it's really motivate me to make a video on other topic right thank you then let's uh, start now so let me jump uh, to uh, our instance so what we will be doing basically we will be creating a script include and we will be creating a, a business rule and we will see that how we can make a call we will be writing a script right so let me jump to the instance so this is my service now instance now here um, you know that how to navigate to a script include you just type uh, include in the navigation and not do not give the space a uh, scroll down under the system definition you will get a script include right so i have already opened it so here list of a uh, script include is already there right to save our time i have just already copy paste the code over here so this is the script include which i have created the name i have given a script include to example include right the api name by default it got created global dot example include whatever the name you will give uh application dot uh your um script include name make sure you are not giving a space in your name right because you have to make a api call from server side or maybe from the client side so this uh video is only dedicated to a uh, script include we can make a call from a server side in next video i'll be making how we can uh, call a script include from client side fine so i have just given the name uh, i have created this under the global application uh, accessibility i have given only to this scope i can give to all the scope it's um, this this depend upon your requirement whether you want uh, this uh, script include to accessible from your uh, scoped application or other application or not right client callable i have not uh, um, check box checked because i don't want to make this a script a script include to get call from client uh, client side right so here uh, i have uh, not checked uh, mobile callable i have not checked sandbox i also have not enabled it these all i have explained already in my previous video description if you can provide you can provide uh, well uh, descriptive that what is this script include all about right and here a couple of them uh, by default got created uh, once you will create a, a script include right so uh, the uh, till here it, this is out of the box it will get created basically i'll be explaining what is this all about in upcoming video like uh, what is the class uh, what is the making create these all i'll be explaining in details so this is the kind of a uh, syntax i would say uh, by default uh, system will create for you no need to remember this okay now uh, the function uh, by default this is the initial function is last function uh, if you don't want then you can remove it it's up to you the function which i have created that say hello so this is the function which i have created right so uh, say hello is my function name and uh, this is the keyword and the parameter which uh, i'm expect uh, expecting to be passed from where this uh, if you are calling maybe if you are calling from a script include uh, sorry uh, business rule then you have to pass as a one thing empty and value you have to pass the parameter return simple uh, logic i have written returning hello and whatever the name is coming over here this is the thing so yeah, we are returning we can uh, write our complex logic over here 
this is again a default uh, it will give right so type is uh, scripting uh, example is uh, include which is coming again from here whatever the name you will give that will be over here so this require for service now to recognize the script so make sure that uh, whatever the name you have given you have not modified this one this should be the same okay if you can see here these all hope you understood like a simple uh, steps i have written don't worry guys i will be writing a complex logic also i'll be explaining you okay so this is what uh, we have done right so this uh, script include uh, saved it okay now uh, our script include is ready to get call so now in this script include we have two function one is initialize in this nothing is there second we have created our own say hello function and we are returning the name which will come from uh, from caller right now now in this example basically i want to call this script include uh, from a business rule so for that i have created one business rule okay so call a script include i have created this business rule on um, incident table and uh, you know like a business rule concept i have already created uh, a video a separate video in this series itself if you have uh, if you don't know uh, about the business rule you can go and watch that business rule video i have created i think four or five videos are there um for business rule right so for incident table i have created when to run let me show you i have given after insert or update just to check okay action i have not given anything in advance uh, uh, i have written um, code to call the uh, script include right let me explain you one by one so once you create a business rule these all are out of the box you will be getting and these three line piece of code uh, i have written right so first uh, line which is talking about a uh, new example include okay so this is basically we are in, uh, in initiating a object okay basically we are creating one object uh, over here so new is the keyword is, which will help to create an object if you have a concept about uh, oops uh, if you have worked, um, you know the java or any dotnet which is having a oops concept this is the way to create a object so basically what we are doing we are just creating a object of a script include so the exact name we have to give example include you can see here the name which i have given example include one more th thing to recognize that uh, once you will give the name let's say if i'm giving a name something like this if i will right click over here and go to definition then it will say there is no definition found okay and if you have given the correct one then it will show you uh, open definition right so if you uh, uh, click on the open definition then it will open your uh, script include so this is the another way to uh, if you are giving a wrong uh, name then it will not uh, open basically that doesn't exist right so that oh, one more thing uh, to identify if you are giving a wrong name fine now that uh, we have uh, created one object and we have uh, stored it in example this is the variable again it's up to you which one you want to give it, it's uh, i want to give one two three something like that also fine now uh, how we can call it we have created create a object over here and now from using a object we can make a function call right the way um, like oops concept work object dot function name so here this is the object name and this is the function name which is defined under this example include correct so say hello is the function see over here say hello is the function same exactly you have to give the same this uh, script include name and the function name we have to give the proper it's a case sensitive if you are giving a say hello if i am uh, doing like this then it won't take okay this is a case sensitive function name and uh, object over here a script include name so example dot um, say hello and under this i am passing a uh, my name jarunjay because this is the parameter uh, i supposed to pass because here this name is x uh, accepting right so this function accept one parameter if i want to uh, create a second parameter then i can make a 
param1 something something like that you just in, uh, keep on increase it with the comma separated and same you have to pass it from here as well with the comma separated got it like this fine so now let's go with the one example i'm just uh, passing uh, from this business rule uh, to a script include uh, name as runjay and uh, what a script include is doing it is returning hello and whatever the name name i am passing and runjay and uh, exclamation marks over here right so as a return what i will be getting hello runjay Correct. So this is the expected output. So what I'm doing. So once uh, um, this will return, I'm just uh, storing in the greeting. Okay. This is again uh, another variable. It's up to you. User defined variable. So this variable, whatever the um, this function is returning, I'm just uh, storing it over here and just displaying that message over here. Correct. Gs dot uh, add info message and just. Um, printing the whatever the script include is returning now let's see what is the output right so because i have written this uh, business rule on incident so i have to um, open an incident okay i have just marked it as a favorite over here so let me just open a new okay this is something different okay now what i will do i will just uh, save it right okay i'm just providing test we'll see over here uh, what i see here here hello runja is coming right so this is uh it's um this message is printing it means our script include is working fine correct here uh, i'm printing the message which is coming from a script include so it's very simple uh you have to first uh, make one object of your script include and using a dot operator you just call a function and if parameter is accepting then pass the parameter else not okay hope you got uh, the concept how we can make a, um, a script include call from uh, business rule and similar way if you are using a similar code uh, in your uh, other script include that also it will work similar way you can just make a call and also from the ui action similar code it will work fine thanks uh, thanks for watching and in the next video we will see how we can make a call from a client side and we will understand a little bit more because uh, glide ajax will come into the picture thank you see you in the next video